Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Nathan and in this video, I want to show you how to turn your idea into a fully loaded mobile app in just a few minutes using one powerful AI tool. Allow me to introduce you to Roar. So lately, I've been noticing a lot of successful mobile app stories trending on social media and I get curious with what kind of apps are actually making money out there. For example, this Glow AI app reached 10k MRR or monthly recurring revenue in just 2 days. And then DPAI makes 20k per month. Speak, an app that helps people learn a new language using AI, is valued at 500 millions in less than a year after its launch. And lastly, Couple Joy, a simple app designed for couples sharing memories together, reached 300k per month. It really seems like a fun idea to create a mobile app that's useful for other people as well as making a lot of money. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to build your own mobile app by using AI. The tool that we're going to use is called Roar. It's an AI-powered platform that lets anyone build fully functional mobile apps without knowing how to code at all. All you have to do is describe your app idea in plain English and Roar will generate a working app that you can test on both iOS and Android devices. With Roar, you can build the first version of your app for just a few dollars instead of spending $10,000 or more. And you can do it in minutes instead of months. After you build your MVP or minimum viable product, you can also use Roar to extend the app further and add more functionalities. To get started with Rourke, you can simply go to its website at Rourke.com and then click on the account icon at the bottom left corner here to sign up for a free account. Right now, it only accepts sign up with Google, so just use your Google account. Once you're signed in, you will return to this main interface where you can provide Rourke with your app idea. There are also example prompt ideas that you can try just below the chat interface, and then below that, you will have your previous projects created with Rourke. Okay, now let's click on this make a meditation timer prompt to see how Rourke works. First, it will come up with a comprehensive plan to build the app. Once the plan is completed, it will then start generating files and code to bring your app idea into a reality. You can view the code being generated by AI by clicking on this code option. And here is the AI hard at work bringing the app idea to life. Okay, there is nothing to do here for now, so I will skip a bit to when the generation is finished. And here's the result, you can try out the app generated by Rourke right in the browser as shown here. Let's click on this play button, and we can see the meditation timer begins to count down. Now click on the settings here, and we can see the timer settings, there are a few options here, and then there's the about info and tips for better meditation. And if we return to the meditation tab, we can stop the timer with this restart icon. Now if you want to try out this app on your phone, you can scan this QR code on the site. I'm going to show you how to do it later, but overall, that's how Rourke works. And next, I will walk you through on how to use Rourke to build a successful app from scratch. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. So the app we're going to build is similar to Couple Joy. It's an app that helps couples stay connected and create shared memories, especially when they're in a long distance relationship. It's a perfect app idea because the core features are actually quite simple and it's genuinely useful for people who have partners. Now I already have the app installed on my phone here and if I open it, we can see that it has 5 main screens. The first tab here is for couple status and statistics and then the second tab has questions so couples get to know each other better. The third one is for adding memories and special days. It's like a journal just for two. I think this is the main feature of the app so we will focus on this. The next tab is for notifications, and then the last tab is for user profile and settings. We will create an app that actually helps people and has real potential to make money. And with Roar, we can build and launch the first version quickly without having to wait for months. Back in Roar here, let's ask it to build an application for couples to share their memories and bond deeper. User can invite a partner and then create memories or special days together like a journal for two. Here, we just describe the core features we want and then press enter. Let Roark process the request for a moment. And then here, you can see what the AI is thinking about. And after a while, Roark will begin creating the app just like before. 
So while we wait for Rourke to build the app, let me share some insights on how you can use this tool successfully. So one of the things I've noticed is that a lot of people try to one-shot their entire app in a single massive prompt. They'll dump every feature, every idea, every edge case all at once, and then wonder why the AI gets confused or breaks halfway through. But if you saw what I just did a moment ago, I didn't do that. I started simple, I just gave Rourke the core idea of the app I wanted to build and nothing more. Why is that? Because the secret here is to build in stages. Don't overwhelm the AI with a wall of instructions, just focus on one part of the app at a time. It's kind of like laying down the foundation before you build a house. Each prompt builds on the last, and each step is small enough for the AI to handle cleanly. So when you're using AI to build your first mobile app, I would say don't try to one-shot the app. Instead, break it down into smaller steps and try to develop the most important feature first. And then you can add smaller features and revise along the way. That's how you actually finish a project with AI. Alright, here's the app generated by Rourke. I think this should be for the app icon, but aside from that, the rest looks pretty nice. So let's just create an account here, and then we need to fill this form. Now we're on the home page, and here we can add a partner, uh, so let's just do that first. Click the button here, and then enter an invitation code. I'll just put a random code for now, and then click connect. Okay, so here's what it looks like once the couple is connected. We have recent memories on this homepage. And then this is the memories page for all the memories and special days. And then the plus icon here. Okay, this is for adding a new memory. And then we have, I think, uh, the calendar view here looking at the icon. And yep, this is the calendar view for all the memories created. There's upcoming special days here as well. Okay, it's a link to the special day. Uh, so this feature is actually very good. I didn't see this in the app available out there. Now, the last tab here is for settings, user profile, and lockout button. So the app generated by Rourke is actually quite good. And now let's try to add a new memory. Uh, call this a trip to Thailand. And then fill in some details here. We can change the date and then the location. Now we can mark a special day and also add photo here. And then click submit. Okay, so here's the new memory. There seems to be a default image added here. Uh, we can tap on it. And here we can edit and delete the memory. So far so good. Now notice that I never described how the UI should look in the prom, but Rourke was still able to figure out a good design based on the app's purpose. However, we can see an issue with the navigation bar at the bottom here. The text is cut off, so let's take a screenshot of that section. And then we will ask Rock to fix it. Just write the prompt here. And then we can add an image with the image upload icon here. Or we can also just drag and drop the image as follows. Okay, now press enter and let Rourke process the request for a while. It will try to fix the issue. And it's very nice that we don't have to find the file where the code is written. Instead, Rourke just do it all for us. Okay, now the changes are done. Uh, looks like Rourke ended up removing the labels for the navigation altogether. Well, that's actually more similar to the inspiration. And it looks better anyway, so let's skip it. Uh, next, let's show an indicator of the page the user is currently in. Just to make the app easier to understand. Uh, here, uh, can you show an indicator of the current page the user is in on the navigation bar? And send that in. And let's wait for a while. I will skip to when it's done. Alright, here's the result. Now there is an indicator for the page the user is in. You can see there is a background shade here. It's a bit subtle, but you can see it here. And that is very nice. Next, let's adjust this home page to make it more useful. I want to allow the couple to set their anniversary date. Also add some statistics, such as how many days together the memory is created, the special days, and CDs, like so. Press enter, then let Rock work on the task for a minute. Now, I want to share another important mindset as an app builder, and that is to ship your product fast. One of the most common mistakes beginners make is waiting too long to launch their app. They hold back because a few features are missing or the design isn't perfect yet. But the truth is, your app will never be perfect. There's always something to tweak or polish, but chasing that can keep you stuck in a loop forever. 
What really matters is to get your core feature out there as quickly as possible. That's how you test the market and find out if people even care about your idea. Now, you might worry that launching an imperfect app will turn users away, but based on my experience and many others, people actually love seeing a good idea in progress. It invites them to contribute, give it back, and be part of the journey. That way, you're not just building for users, you're actually listening and building with them, and that's how you create a great product that people love to use. Okay, let's jump back into Roark. Mmm, it seems almost finished here. Alright, the homepage is now updated, uh, we can set the anniversary date here, and then there is some stats, and then recent memories, uh, so good. Now let's try to set the date here, just put in a random date for now, and then save. Okay, the date is saved, and the days together stat is also updated there, and there it is. In just a few minutes, I could develop a functional prototype of the app, which is pretty awesome. Now, one more change that I want to make is to put this create memory screen inside the memory screen. Add a floating button on the bottom right side of the screen here. Uh, so let's just ask Rourke to do that. In the memories page, create a floating action button to create new memory. Also remove the add page so that new memory can only be created from this floating button. Now I will skip a bit to when it's finished. Okay, uh, now we can see here that we have a create memory button from the memory screen which is more intuitive. And the plus icon for the memory form is also removed. It's all going pretty good. Uh, just one more small tweak. I want some validation on the memory form so users won't submit an empty memory. So uh, here just tell Rourke to validate the title first. Press enter and then I will skip a bit to when it's finished. Okay, so everything is done here. Now just one final test before trying this app on the phone. Add a new memory here, uh, maybe a trip to Malaysia. Add some details as well. Add a location here. And then let's add a photo here. And then click create. Okay, so it all works. I think it's time to try this app on mobile next. Now, to test the app on mobile phones, you will need to use an app called ExpoGo, which you can download at this page. The link is in the description below. There's the link for both Android and iOS versions here, so you can choose the right one for your phone system. Once downloaded, open the app, and you will see this option to scan QR code in the main screen. So just tap on that, and then scan the QR code provided by Rourke. The app will then be loaded to your phone for a second, so let's just wait a bit. And then here's the app running on the phone. Now we can create an account here, so let's fill our account details. And then here's the main screen of the app again. Now I notice there's no way to change the user profile picture, so let's add that feature after this test. Now let's add a partner first, and now let's do something here like add the anniversary date. Uh, it seems we need to use some date picker here instead of text like this. Uh, let's just fill it out for now. Uh, okay, so it seems the input format is wrong, and here I got a NAN value, which stands for not a number. And also, I noticed that the navigation bar at the bottom here is overlapping with my Android phone navigation system. Uh, so let's bring this all back to Rourke to fix. Uh, just head back to the platform. And here, we can just ask Rourke to fix the issues we found. So in the homepage, change anniversary date input to date picker. Also let users change their own profile picture. Now let Rourke work on it for a moment. And when it's done, we will focus on the overlapping navigation bar issue. And uh, there seems to be an error here. Uh, you can see this warning from Rourke. Uh, but we can also see the profile picture has an icon here. And then the anniversary date here has been changed to a date picker, uh, so it's pretty good. Now if you find an error like this, don't panic. Just send a message back to Rourke, click fix all, and then press enter. Now Rourke will try to solve the error for you, and so I will skip a bit here. And now the error has been solved by Rourke. And if we scroll up a bit to when this error happens, notice here that it says free fix. So when an error happens in your code and Rourke actually catches it, it will try to fix the problem without charging you. That's actually very responsible for Rourke. Other platforms in the same situation will just charge you a request anyway. Alright, so now we have a date picker and profile picture selector edit. 
Now let's focus on fixing the navigation bar next. I already took a screenshot for that issue here, so let's just ask Rourke to fix it for us. Also, just remove the navigation labels below the icons, and press enter here and let Rourke work again. Um, okay, so Rourke suddenly went white screen here. Uh, <laughs> this is just like Windows blue screen of that. Uh, for all of you who use Windows, uh, you must be familiar with that. Uh, okay, just let's try to refresh the page here. Um, alright. It seems the app is still working just fine. Uh, so let's test again on mobile. Alright, back in my mobile phone, I will open Expo Go and scan the QR code again. And then Expo is downloading the latest changes. And here we are, so we can see that the navigation bar no longer overlaps with the phone navigation system. Uh, let me add partner again. Okay, partner is added, now let's set the anniversary date here. Yes, it works, so let's set this somewhere in 2021. Now the days together gets the value from the anniversary date as well. And we can also change the profile picture here, select from camera or library, so good. Alright, I think this app is very good already, and this is all created with a few simple prompts, with no special technical knowledge about how mobile app development works, or specific UI instructions, so a uh, good job Rourke! If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. But overall, that's how you can build a mobile app using Roar. This AI-powered platform enables you to quickly create functional prototype of your mobile app so that you can bring your idea to market quickly. And of course, this isn't a complete app yet, but I could definitely spend a few more hours on it add things like authentication and a simple database, and release a solid MVP to test my idea. Now to be fair, Rourke itself still has a few rough edges. As you've probably seen in this video, sometimes it throws an error before I even do anything, other times I hit a white screen out of nowhere. But even with those glitches, the tool itself is incredibly valuable. I mean, think about what it's doing, it generates a real mobile app with working code in minutes. You don't need to have any coding background at all. Yes, it's not perfect, but neither are most tools when they first come out, and Rourke is definitely improving fast, so if you're willing to deal with a few bumps along the way, you can still get a massive start from using this platform. And now we have come to the end of this video. So, what do you think about Rourke? I hope this simple workflow could help you turn your idea into a successful mobile app that's useful for other people. If you want to try out Rourke, I will leave the link in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Koei Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!